Reporting for Daybreak Online for this Tuesday, the 10th day of February, I'm Jim Adele Abrams. Obituary is brought to you by Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Funeral service for Thelma Eunice Moore, age 95, will be today at 2 o'clock in the North Chapel of Curtis and Son Funeral Home. Brother Mike Kaiser officiating burial in the Evergreen Cemetery. Ms. Moore died at her residence on February the 7th. She was a member of the Broadway Church of Christ, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel directing. Graveside service for Danette P. Milam, age 68, of Sylacauga, is this morning at 11 o'clock from Tallahassee Cemetery. Reverend John Sawyer officiating. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel, directing. Ms. Milam was a member of the Sycamore Baptist Church. Mrs. Barbara Ellison, age 80, of Sylacauga, uh, died yesterday at Coosa Valley Medical Center. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel, will announce the arrangements. Funeral service for Russell Dean Custer, age 48, of Childersburg is Wednesday at 4 o'clock from Randy Smith Funeral Home Chapel with Reverends Tommy Thornton and Philip Alverson officiating. Mr. Custer died Sunday, February the 8th at his residence. He was a member of the Wagufka Worship Center. And uh, visitation tonight, 5 until 8 at the funeral home. Randy Smith Funeral Home, Sylacauga directing. Funeral service for Charles William Robinson, age 87, of Sylacauga is Thursday at 2 o'clock from the Chapel of Randy Smith. The Reverends Paul Vick and Tony McGrady officiating burial in the Talladega Springs Cemetery. Mr. Robinson died Monday, February the 9th at Coosa Valley Medical Center. Visitation 5 until 8 o'clock on Wednesday night at the funeral home and Randy Smith Funeral Home, Sylacauga directing. The family will receive friends today, uh, friends of Alois, Foster Hood of Talladega, and that visitation begins at 10, the service at 11 at First Presbyterian Church in Talladega, Ursary Funeral Home, directing Doris Wesley, age 78, of Talladega, died February the 6th, funeral service today at 11 a.m. from Ursary Funeral Home Chapel with burial in the Pine Hill Memorial Park, Reverend Ronald Jones officiating, and Ursary Funeral Home in charge of the arrangements. That is a look at obituaries today brought to you by Curtis and Son Funeral Home, the North Chapel on Highway 21 in Sylacauga and the Childersburg Chapel on Highway 280 in Childersburg. That's Curtis and Son Funeral Home. Happy birthday today to Jesse Knight, also to Carlette, Carlette Milam, Wendy Baker, Sherry Bentley, and uh, Taylor McCardle celebrating birthdays today. Weather forecast calling for a cool day on tap, a high today in the low 50s. Uh, sunshine tomorrow, high in the low 60s, and then much colder Friday and Saturday and Sunday with uh, temperatures uh, in the mid 40s both Thursday and Friday with overnight lows in the low to upper 20s. And then Saturday, a cool day as well with a lot of sunshine, high 51, but look at that uh, bottom number, 70, uh, 17 degrees for an overnight low into Sunday morning. In area news, three Sylacauga residents are now facing felony drug charges stemming from two separate incidents. Adam Welch Bentley, age 30, and Jessica Alt Bentley, age 25, of Old Fetler Road, Sylacauga, each charged with possession of a controlled substance, possession of marijuana in the second degree, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Now, Rodney Steve Milliner, age 45, of Pleasant Hill Lane in Sylacauga, was arrested in an unrelated incident. That according to Talladega County Drug and Violent Crime Task Force Commander Jason Murray. In addition to being charged with possession of controlled substance, possession of marijuana in the second degree, and possession of drug paraphernalia, jail records indicate that Milliner was also arrested on two warrants for non-payment of child support and another outstanding warrant. All three arrests were made in Sylacauga over the weekend. And three people were arrested on felony drug charges in Talladega over the weekend. Uh, John Dale Daltrey, age 39, was arrested Saturday night after attempting to shoplift a folding knife and some gray camouflage clothing from a local Walmart store in Talladega. At the time of his arrest, Daltrey was accused of carrying methamphetamines as well as assorted pills that were later identified as Xanax and hydrocodone. He was charged with two or three counts of possession of a controlled substance as well as theft of property in the third degree. Benitez O'Brien Evans, age 30 of Talladega, was one of two people arrested Saturday night near Talladega when officers responded to a disturbance call. 
When approached, one of the men dropped what appeared to be a small baggie of marijuana. On further investigation, Evans had a bag of what appeared to be crack cocaine on him, and the other man had a, another bag of marijuana as well. Samuel Dontrell Patterson, age 33, of Talladega, initially charged with attempting to elude a police officer and resisting arrest after passing a traffic checkpoint. Patterson also had cocaine and marijuana on him. He was charged with possession of a controlled substance for the cocaine and with possession of marijuana in the second degree. That is a look at obituaries, birthdays, weather, and local news reporting for Daybreak Online. I'm Jim L. Abrams.